and so come on, we can do it together. So anyway, I don't want to lecture you, I just did, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well I am sorry, I'm really sorry. Yeah, very, very sorry, because we're English, we're always sorry. <laughs> we're sorry we exist. <laughs> Not surprisingly really, when you look at our track record. So anyway, this is a true story about four women and their friends. There was 12 of them all together, um, and it, they formed a group called Seeds of Hope. And there were some planes um, that were being sent from Britain to Indonesia to be used against the people of East Timor. I don't know how many of you have ever heard of East Timor. It's a small country off the south coast of Indonesia. And it was invaded in 1975 by Indonesia, and a third of the people that lived in that country have been murdered since that invasion began. And it was still continuing despite all the resolutions of the UN to get them out. They still refused to leave. And these women had tried writing letters and lobbying their MPs and nothing was happening. So they went down to the local hardware store and they bought some hammers. And they spent a year thinking about it and then they went into the, into the aerospace base in the dead of night. And they smashed the nose cone and the wings and the bits that were going to be used for war and were going to be used against the people of East Timor. And then they ran the security and said, we've done this um, because we don't believe that what we've done is wrong. So if you want to arrest us, you can, but we want you to know that we've done it and why. And they spent six months in jail. And this is the story of their trial and why they did what they did. And it's called With My Hammer. And I'd love you to sing if you've got the words, but by the time we get to the end, it'd be really great. Thanks.
came before a court of law And the truth the jury heard and saw Stunned them into silence And then when the verdict came Not guilty